morning everybody this is david shaw with five minutes of photography i am recording on the move today because i am hiking up into the foothills above denver and today before dawn it's like 5 45 a.m so i'm climbing up this hill in the interest of talking to you guys about exposure We've got this idea of that perfect pyramidal histogram representing the properly exposed image. And while there's some truth to that for much photography, there's more to exposure than that. Exposure is as much a part of our composition as what we put in our frame. So by purposely underexposing or purposely overexposing, you can create a whole different mood to your image. So you can see with the underexposed uh, shot that basically what I had to do was concentrate on exposing the sky correctly. In fact, I even dropped that down a little bit more to really enhance the dramatic streak of those clouds. But you can see how that works to really emphasize color while pushing the foreground elements, those, uh, those mountains there, into complete silhouette. So I'm sitting here taking an overexposed image of this landscape. Uh, and you can see here, so this is the landscape I'm looking at. I'm using this flower as a foreground. And as I create the image, I want to make sure that my flower is properly exposed. And to do that, I need to blow out that background. Otherwise, I can't get it all, um, unless I use HDR or some other post-processing trick. But that's okay, because really the main point of the focus is the flower here, um, with just having a glow of the sunrise in the background without actually including much of the sun. Well guys, that's five minutes of photography. Thanks for joining me again. And don't forget to join my Facebook group, DWS Photo Support. And follow this channel here on YouTube. And yeah, I hope you guys learned something about, um, about exposure today. And I'd love to see what you're creating. So come on over to my Facebook group, DWS Photo Support, and share some of the images, share some artistically designed over and under exposures. Show me what you're getting using these techniques and what else we've learned in this on the course of this uh, series. And I would love to see it. So thanks a bunch everyone for your attention and uh, we'll see you later.